challenge you can face as a website builder is making your website look good on any device screen your visitors might use, whether that's a laptop, tablet, or a mobile. Elementor's Flexbox containers are an efficient solution to this challenge. In fact, one of the greatest strengths of Flexbox containers is their responsiveness. This feature allows your site to adjust itself to different screen sizes. The editor automatically adjusts a container and its content to different screen sizes so you don't have to. To achieve a pixel-perfect website across all screen sizes, you also have full control over how your website displays on each device type. This video will show you how to use responsive mode and how containers allow you to control the order of your elements and their size on any screen. By default, the editor is set to desktop mode, so on the panel, many of the container's settings and some widget settings have a desktop icon indicating that you can change this setting to different screen sizes. Clicking this icon is one way to activate responsive mode. Another way is to click the responsive icon in the page menu. Once you've activated responsive mode, a top bar will appear. Here, you can navigate through the different screen sizes, see their exact dimensions, and add new breakpoints. If you'd like more information on working with responsive mode, be sure to check out Elementor's Help Center. For your page to display content in the right order on different screen sizes, the editor orders the page's elements automatically, following a simple logic. First, the order starts at the top of the page. Second, the editor will order the content according to its direction. And third, all of the container's content will be ordered before moving on to the next item. The editor maintains this order across all screen sizes and will display your content accordingly. You can set a different direction, a different justify content setting, alignment, and item gap for any screen size. You can fine tune each item's placement through the respective advanced tab where you can set the specific order for any item. For any screen size, you can set the order of the item within a parent container. To do so, you can move an item to the container's start or end. Another option is to choose Custom and set numerical values for each item. The numerical order will determine the order of the items. To reorganize a group of items so they appear with a different order on different screen sizes, place these items in one container. In the Advanced tab of each item, you can set the item size. Size will help you manage free space within a container. Setting an item size to grow will force the item to take up all the free space within the container. On smaller screen sizes where you don't have enough free space within a container, you can set an item's size to shrink to prioritize the other widgets and force that item to become smaller. You can also adjust the size of items by selecting Custom Size. Here, you can set the ratio of grow or shrink. The default value for all items is 1, so setting grow to a value of 2 means that item will take twice the space of the other items. Below this video, you'll also find a link to our complete guide to mastering Flexbox containers. With it, you'll learn how containers can help you build a pixel-perfect website that looks great on any screen.